Welcome to game three between Artosis and Hawk. We are tied at one apiece. Upper left, or sorry, <laughs> at the nine o'clock location. We have Hawk starting as the red Zerg. At the lower three o'clock location, we have Artosis as the pink Terran. This is on Neo Sylphid. Old school map. Very mineral heavy. Lots of fun terrain. And like I said previously, Ladder Artosis and Tournament Artosis are two completely different beasts. Seeing mech play out of him in the previous game, absolutely fantastic. And Hawk, I think, grabbing additional expansions, but then not having... So, transitioning to Queen play, didn't protect the Queens after the attack, ended up losing a lot of them. Lost a lot of gas, but really, I think that critical moment was going for that mass drop, really did not pay off for him. Maybe dropping from uh, another angle into the natural expansion would have been difficult to get the troops out to that corner. I am wondering, now that it is tied one apiece, if we're going to see Artosis shift all the way back to his standard play, which is usually that two racks academy, and then trying to play a smothering science vessel style. Something we see typically out of uh, Gypsy. I think Gypsy, out of all of the players that I've seen, executed the best. But what I'd honestly like to see Adam of as well is that Engineering Bay first opener with the plus one weapons. I've seen him... I haven't seen him really try to execute that in any scenario as of yet. 12 hatch from Hawk. And Hawk... I'm, I wouldn't be shocked, actually, if Artosis opts to go mech play further because I have seen that as a little bit of weakness... In Hawk's playstyle, oftentimes he, he struggles against Mech. Previously in matches I've seen uh, kind of going to old school builds against 111. I think a couple months ago, ended up dropping in a lot of supply early. Still ended up coming back and winning it, but definitely it was a struggle all the way against an opponent that I considered him uh, to be honestly superior to. Can't remember the opponent off the top of my head, unfortunately. Looks like we're seeing a... I assume that was around 205 gas. To open up two Hatch Mutalisk. Going back to bread and butter. Drone waiting impatiently to go ahead and plop into that gas. And this drone, what is it doing? Man, it looked like it just disappeared under that spawning pool for a second. Finally, getting back in the field. Tosa spotting it, though, upon seeing the 12th Hatch. And the gas going ahead and grabbing that Command Center. Hawk has full eyes with the Overlord Scout. Having gone this direction first. We'll see how Artosis decides to deal with it. And again, I'm hoping to see eBay before second barracks, but it would not be shot yet. We're just going to see probably two racks academy going back to the bread and butter. I think this will be a true, a true testament of kind of the heads up skill versus heads up skill here. We have Hawk going for kind of the standard meta two hatch Mutalisk opener versus Terran. Assume he'll grab that third hatchery down the line. And it's kind of the move towards Lurkers to defend it. And we're seeing Artosis go with what's kind of the bread and butter standard Terran opener. Oftentimes, in this build, he gets early... And I've seen this even in his ACS qualifiers. He'll even give really high-level Zergs a run for their money in the early game. Especially with pressure around the third, oftentimes pressure at that natural expansion. There's just that razor-thin moment where if his opponent doesn't commit sufficient gas-heavy troops, almost as a sacrifice to the science vessels at the natural expansion, he'll run them over. But at the same time, I've seen him play in scenarios where he's not quite able to pull the trigger in breach, or not able to be smothering enough with those science vessels. As a result, Zerg able to get out on the map and just create havoc for him. Second gas being grabbed now for Hawk. Spire on the way. So Science Vessel Control going to be absolutely critical for him. Academy in construction. Third hatchery. The inside 11 o'clock. SCV looks like it is going to be able to wander up and confirm location, which will be great and save some comsat.
hopefully make our Tosas feel a little bit more comfortable on the, on the map. So yeah, seize the hatchery, morphing, single Zergling, hang out on the front just to make sure that there wasn't a quick push timing, engineering bay on the way, and stim pack being researched. Additional Zerglings flooding out. Going to go ahead, take out that SCV scout, putting Artosis in the dark, but he got the information he was looking for out of that. Not sure if there's Marines in that bunker or not, because I don't think this replay view shows it. But Marines waiting along the edge. Hawk angling as though he might want to go for a run by and get a little bit of disruption to just confirm what's in the main, potentially. Or maybe do some sort of combo attack. Because these Zerglings, yeah, edging towards the front. Comsat dropped Spiretosis, checking out the main. Sees the Spire timing and sees the Mutalisk morphing. He's going to be pinned in, or just going to be pinned in position until Stim plus one weapons and range. Well, really, until range. He can start moving up before plus one weapons, but when he feels most comfortable, really respecting both the architecture of Neosilphid with this open range behind the natural expansion, but also Hawk's Mutalisk Micro, dropping a slew of turrets there at the natural. However, Hawk angling all the way back towards the main, two Mutalisks leading, fortunately, getting a little bit ahead of the rest of the attack force in Artosis, able to respond rapidly to get troops back. Third barracks coming online, a little bit of a delay on Additional barracks just because, wow, look at all these turrets. So Artosis shelling up heavily to deal with this Mutalist attack. Hawk threading through, but I don't know that he's even, maybe he can attack to the southern corner. But I don't know that he's got a lot of other area to find, but somehow finds a window, picks off an SCV, another SCV, and a Marine. Never mind, that Marine's got a... It's got like that metal plate in his chest kept him alive with that last 4 HP but the Mutal's taking heavy damage over turrets now one of them already wiped out two of them taken out leaving just five. Third gas up for Hawk at the 11 o'clock base more Mutalisks taking flight or sorry those are the same five nope just kidding yeah gonna go up to 10 potentially to punch through but Artosis looking to move out Mutalisks pushing into the main. Artosis ignoring it, pulling SCVs off the line. He's going to try to engage. I don't know if he's going to go for the natural expansion because there's no sunken colonies here currently. That should force these Mutalisks back. Are they going to be in time? Zerglings trailing along that edge. Additional Mutalisks along that corner. But yeah, no, no defenses at the natural expansion. Single file line stimming forward. Mutalisks Coming along that right-hand corner, this could either be brilliant or disaster for Artosis. One drone getting wiped out. The hatchery taking fire. The Mutalisks grouped up. And now diving in to the natural. Medic Marines completely wiped out, but this does buy time for Artosis to go ahead and get some turrets reestablished back at his main. Big Mutalist dedication, plus one weapons there. More Zergling streaming along that corner, and Hawk might take a shot at the natural expansion with Zerglings and Mutalisks, considering how small the Marine count is here. Staging up for a potential two-pronged attack. Engaging the four turrets at the natural with that plus one weapons, able to two-shot the turrets. Nice group prepared to just keep them alive. Another Mutalisk falling. A single medic and marine drawing to location. Another turret getting three shot. Artos is at least being diligent to get repair to provide some delay. Another mule gets wiped out. Hawk still persisting with these mutalists. It looks like he's going to try to go ahead and skip Lurker Tech. Make his way towards Hive. Dropping the Queen's Nest actually at the 11 o'clock. So he's going to be very, very reliant on these Mutalisks. So can't afford to lose them. Eight down, but two more to supply to keep the number at 10. Siege tank potentially going to be fielded. Armory is in place. Starport 
also there, but Artosis' natural expansion has been absolutely obliterated. Not mining. If you look at the supply counts, Hawk has done a fantastic job absolutely crushing Artosis' economy with this Mutalist threat. And I don't see... I think this is going to be a Valkyrie out in the field to try to help deal with this. Artosa is still losing more units in the natural expansion. The initial turrets were well warranted. And now with every SCV gone from the natural, Hawk backing off. Giving a moment of relent. But he's already on the verge of 80 supply. The hive has finished. He did drop a Hydralis den. Didn't need it at this stage. We do have a Valkyrie, which feels like a desperation maneuver at this stage, but Artosis has taken so much damage at this stage. Might be needed. Several of the weakened Mutalisks being wiped out. Repositioning. Some Scourge are amidst the numbers. Splitting off and taking that Valkyrie out. Nice bit of micro there from Hawk. First of all, disguising the Scourge, but also peeling them off and landing. So nice bait. I think Artosis was hoping to get more damage out of that. Double control group for Hawk hovering over the natural. Doesn't really need to commit these troops. Already has the Defiler Mound out. Second Valkyrie out for Artosis, but very thin on troop count. Valkyrie still trying to tap away and full health on all of those Mutalisks. Things looking pretty grim for Artosis. Moving out with the Medic Marine Force now. But honestly, between the Zerglings, the Mutalisks, the Hydalisks that are there, the Scourge that are on location. Artosis might end up losing these units, especially as they engage into the high ground. Mutalisks and Zerglings shredding. This attack force. Small mercy though, Valkyrie did not end up getting taken out by those Scourge, chasing down the remaining Mutalisks. But Hawk up 25 supply, the Filer Mound up. Lurker's in position, no science vessel for Artosis. So if he's gonna press forward into this, which honestly I would not advise given the unit count out of the natural expansion, Actually, might want to just pull back with these troops because the Lurkers could just lift up and wipe out what's there. Two Lurkers, it looks like, at the 11 o'clock base as well. So Artosis out on the map, finally. The Mutalis re-engaging at the natural expansion. No turrets there. And so... It, and Artosis hasn't been able to even establish the second gas for quite some time. Brutal. It shows you kind of the... Mew Sylphid with the just open territory like this, a lot of the maps of this era, Blue Storm, etc., had that feature. Made it very, very challenging for Terran to defend against extremely strong Mutalus micro like this. The Mutalus finally getting softened up and exiting to the north. Medic Marines chasing midfield. I'm not sure what Artosis can do at this point, to be honest. Defiler's already out. Second Refiner. Uh, second refinery still not grabbed. Looks like he's working on a siege tank and siege tech. Does have a science facility. Maybe to get a science vessel out there. Which he's going to need at all locations because there's plenty of lurkers. But might be hard pressed defending. Two additional hatcheries plopping down as well. I take that back. Three additional hatcheries. And an evolution chamber plopping down for Hawk. Two Valkyries in flight. So Hawk will need to keep... A handful of Hydralisks around to go ahead and keep them off his overlords. Scourge able to land, wiping one of them out. And Defiler Lurkers pressing forward into the Medic Marine Ball with that orange cloud along the way. A statement that Tier 3 tech is here. Artosis with some Desperation Vultures. Let's see if he can get some mines down on the front. That could be critical. Still sitting at three barracks. Looks like he's going to try to grab a second factory. 
hurting for minerals at this stage. And Hawk shelling up, macroing up. A little bit light on saturation, so could drone up, but he's feeling confident enough where he can go ahead off these three bases and 90 supply, not only grab an expansion, but drop the Ultralisk Cavern, especially because there's really not a lot of threat to his Defilers at this stage. Going Valkyries in the mid game really, I understand why Artosis did it, but delayed delayed the Science Vessel count, which means at this stage of the match, the Radiates just aren't there. So Defiler is feeling extremely strong out in the map with just Skeleton Crews to go ahead and defend expansions. The Lord wiped out at the 6 o'clock location. And Hawk starting to turn on the gas. A little bit of an early drone transfer. But he's got the gas to work with. He's got a sizable supply lead. He can easily start transitioning into those late game Zerg armies. I've heard Jayun say it best. It's like when you play Hawk, it's like sometimes you feel like you've d you've played well and you've done everything you could, but it's just hard to beat this guy. Just extremely strong. Barracks are now floating just to provide extra space for these factories to do their work. Artosis looking for a transition into late game mech. Siege tanks vultures. Zerglings getting cleaned up mid-map. Hawk expanding everywhere. Grabbing that upper 9 o'clock location in the transition period. Artosis He's going to need to take that third base. And in a hurry, because mech is expensive. And just to keep up with everything that Hawk is going to be able to toss out. Troops kind of meandering through. Marines making sure additional bases were not taken on the right-hand side of the map. Nidus Canals up. Ultralis Cavern. Defiler Mound there. I think Hawk just waiting to bank to start fielding those Ultralisks. The question is, is how many mines will be out in the field? Some very damaged Marines finding two Overlords. Two Salt there to the south. And the mine coverage is going to be really vital to soften up those Ultralisks once they come. Zerglings leading forward to go ahead and try to clean up this attack force looks like they're going to be pushed back to the Defiler on the high ground of the inside nine. Siege Tank slowly walking forward to try to, I assume, open up this six o'clock base for Artosis. Engineering Bay floating across every other location. <laughs> well, engineering buildings floating over every other location just to provide the scouting information. Vultures popping forward. Mostly just clearing out Zerglings. That's not what Artosis is looking for. Hawk actually doing a good job of streaming these Zerglings across to go ahead and do some mine clearage ahead of potential Ultralis play. Escorting drones to the north, the new mining location. Siege tanks and Marines making their way out with plus one weapons. Hodgepodge of an army able to pick off a Defiler open field potentially threaten the inside nine. Defiler picked off by a science vessel. I think the lone science vessel. Finally, an irradiate dropped. Sorry, two science vessels out in the field. Nice little split to work on that engineering bay. But Hawk almost looks unconcerned with this assault. Instead, is cleaning up the 12 o'clock location. It's like, I've got Dark Swarm. I do not care about this army with lurkers underneath. Zerglings coming from that right-hand side, going ahead and clearing out mines. That Defiler looks like it's going to be wiped out. Finally, the Siege Tank Splash catches what's left of the Lurker. And yeah, Hawk slow playing this at this stage. He's got minerals to work with. But Artosis slowly making his way into that 9 o'clock. Zergling streaming from the north. Here come the big boys. Ultralis flooding forward almost as an afterthought. 
clearing out the siege tanks chasing the medic marines down flop down while those units are pinned in place more tanks sieging from the right hand side more dark swarm dropped i think between that and the mines that will be sufficient to go ahead and stop those ultralists but that is not halting hawk from mining Medic's just chilling with the Ultralis, getting wiped out slowly. As additional Ultras diving in to that Siege Tank line, fortunately, Artosis does have level 2 weapons and enough Siege Tanks to go ahead and push the rest of that army back. But more units streaming across the map. Pocket near double the supply. So can Artosis get efficient trades and somehow keep that base up and running? Tank dragging into the mines. Ultralis... Working on the southern siege tanks as SCVs flying across, trying to mix it up. The siege tank line completely cleared out. Group pair keeping one to the north open. That's going to get cleaned up momentarily. And now we have a trail of Dark Swarm all the way to the natural expansion and more units coming. Usually that is indication of a potential GG moment. Zergling streaming through to Filer, chopping them as they're making their way across. More Zerglings, and it looks like an Ultra is going to stream in. And that is Dark Swarm plus Zerglings at the natural. Artosis calls GG. Game two for Hawk in this best of five series. And we're going to move on to game four overall. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.